The Catholic faith took root on Guam in 1668 when Blessed Diego Luis de San Vitores landed near the shores of Agatha and established its first church, the Dulce Nombre de Maria. Although he suffered a martyr's fate, Padre Diego's mission on Guam flourished, with the fruits of his labor enjoyed by all Catholic Chamorros even today. On March 1, 1911, Pope Pius X separated Guam from the Northern Marianas and elevated it into an apostolic vicariate under its first bishop, Francisco Javier Villa y Mateo. Through the years, amidst calamity, war, and reconstruction, the Catholic Church continued to be a bastion of strength and unwavering hope for the people of Guam. A repository of Christian faith and Chamorro culture springing from an unbroken line of ritual and tradition that spans over 400 years. Recognizing this remarkable piety and devotion, Pope Paul VI elevated the church on Guam into a diocese in 1965 and named its pastoral leader of 20 years, Apollinaris William Baumgartner, as its first residential bishop. Five years later, Guam rejoiced in the historic appointment of the first Chamorro bishop, Felix Berto Camacho Flores, who later became the first Metropolitan Archbishop of Agana in 1984. It was in the hands of Archbishop Flores that a local boy was ordained in 1972, then consecrated bishop on February 19th 1984. This same young man succeeded his beloved mentor to become the second Archbishop of Agana, Anthony Sablan Aparon. The last words of my mother before she died was when she finally knew that I was not giving up on becoming a priest, she said, serve your brothers and sisters. So I took that motto as a reminder for me that in my pastoral ministry, I am here to serve the people.